Hey everybody, this is Wind Road Therapy. Welcome back to my channel. You know, because a little bit of wind, and a little bit of road, is a little bit of therapy. And today, we are going to talk, well, I am going to speak about the Atlas Throttle Lock. Now, I have had my Atlas Throttle Lock for a year and a half, and I have to say that I made an error in installing the Atlas Throttle Lock. So Atlas Throttle Lock happens to be kind of live in there on Instagram, and I got to chatting with them. And we then communicated over the uh, over email, and they helped me out. And I had in I needed to clean the the surface area where the pads were going to be installed, and I also needed to remove the Atlas throttle lock from the handlebar and make sure to clean the the area in between the throttle and the, the hand grip. Okay, so here's I the Atlas throttle lock. A little bit closer view. We're inside my RV. <laughs> so you can see the silicone pads right there. And there are two. And they are what puts pressure on the throttle lock. Let's see if we can demonstrate that, right? Press it to engage it. Boom. And it's set. Then we take it to disengage it and stop it. Let's see if we do it this way. Boom. All right, so when you disengage it, you know that you have to be prepared for the throttle to throttle back. Let's do it again. So you take it and you set it whatever speed you're going and then you press the X to disengage it. Boom. So that's how it goes. And this is the Atlas throttle lock. Let's see if we can show that name a little bit better there. There we go. There we go right there you can see it so that's it it's a thin piece of metal right there two pieces together they attach with this screw right here this time around they gave a longer screw it grips underneath here there's teeth and that's how it's able to stay in place so this is the Atlas throttle lock you've seen it uh, in motion. And now you see it a little bit up, more up close. Alright, send it back to the video so you can see it in motion. Hand grip. So I did all of that and I purchased some more of the uh, silicone rubber little pads that they send you and lo and behold problem was fixed. So let me start by saying, let me, let me interject and say that it is not a um, cruise control so it will not change <laughs> you know the speed you are responsible for the speed so like we're about to go down a hill it's not going to throttle forward you know throttle down or if you're on an incline it's not going to uh, give you more power that's all on you I wouldn't have the throttle lock set on those two environments <laughs> But when you're on a, when you're on a long ride, or if you're you just need a break from twisting back the throttle, then maybe this is a uh, an option for you. There's four different styles. There's the top mount. There's the under mount. 
and it comes in all black and all chrome. So for my bike, which is a 2018 Kawasaki Vulcan S, Atlas Throttle Lock uh, suggested the undermount, and I chose black instead of the chrome. All right, so let's give it a whirl. <laughs> now we're on a proper road. Speed limit is 45. There we go. Set your speed. Hang on, got the railroad tracks. <laughs> and here we go. So, you can see that it stays locked, pretty much. <laughs> and then to shut it off, you just press the X, and there we go. So let's do it again. There it is. It's locked. So there we go. You just press the top button to set it, and you press the X to disengage it. So I've used this. I didn't ride all the way to Sturgis, but while at Sturgis, I did almost 2,300 miles. And you know, when you're on I-90 and you need to give your wrist a break, just from twisting back the throttle, not from holding on to the handlebar, <laughs> this might be the option for you. So. If you're traveling long distance or if you have carpal tunnel or any kind of wrist injury or fatigue, this might be the product for you. So thank you so much for checking out my video on the Atlas Throttle Lock. I hope that if it's something that you need, if you have wrist fatigue or wrist injury or you're just traveling long distance, that this video helped you out in any way. Thank you again. Be well. Ride safe. And remember that you are not alone. Look what tomorrow brings. Isn't this road just beautiful? This is one of my favorite roads out here in Hernando County. Peace.